Hey, bro, look, check it out. Labradoodle. What? Yeah, right down there. Oh, <laughs> I love good breed. It's so good. Yes, half lab, half moodle. Wait, what? Incredible. Moodle? Yeah. No, that's moodle. not a thing ever. No, no, it, it totally is. Uh, a moodle. Isn't that, isn't that Dave from Econ? Oh, yeah. What is he doing up here? He's, he's probably just enjoying the view, man. Wait, isn't, isn't Dave blind? We gotta warn him. Hey, hey, Dave. Whoa, 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 bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? You, can, you can't just tell Dave what to do. Wait, why? Are you blind? Uh, no. Okay, so then you don't know what Dave's gone through. You can't really relate to him, man. Just, just, just let him be. He's totally fine. He's literally slipping right now. Yeah, wait, okay, okay, you're gonna you're gonna get uh, all up on him for for slipping. Like everyone slips from here and there. I don't it's care no if he slips. I'm just trying to keep it. a guy from falling off a cliff. No, no. Okay, listen. What what I think you need to do right now is you just need to love him. You need to not point out. What does his that have weaknesses. to do with anything? It has everything to do with everything. Okay, like if you. If you point out his weaknesses, he won't feel loved, he won't feel accepted. I'm just, feel I'm just accepted. trying to keep a guy from going off the cliff. No, he's not even stopping. You, hey, Dave! Dave. No, whoa, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it! If you speak out against blind people, so what many people will be upset with you? with you. No, so many people won't like you. But also, what if, what if he doesn't like us anymore? You ever thought about that? Dave will be dead. I need to say, hey, no, no, Dave! No, no, Dave! No, 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 no. Someone, is someone there? Uh, yeah! Hey Dave, how's it going? It's uh, it's Charlie mm -hmm. from school. Oh hey man. Stop doing this for, doing this for Dave's birthday. Uh, maybe you can help me out. I seem to have lost a trail somewhere. You you want to tell me if I'm going the right way? <coughs> maybe he is lost. Yes. You're right. We we should still just encourage him. Yeah yeah hey no Dave you know you're doing great man. Uh, uh, you know I love that you're out here man too. I I'm proud of you being out on this trail. You you're doing great man. You you're doing great. Okay, thanks, man. I guess I am going the right way. Watch, he'll figure it out. You just gotta love him through his problems. Yeah, you got it, man. Dave, what are you doing? What? Dave? 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 We need a church that doesn't just speak truth, but a church that will speak the truth in love. I've, I've been praying. There's one thing I, I've been praying, and, and that's this. Paul, Paul's words really caught my eyes when he said, I warned you day and night for three years with tears. He didn't say I encouraged you day and night for three years with tears. I warned you, but the part I want is the tears. He loved them so deeply that he wept as he warned them because he knew how serious what he was saying was for those people. We can't come into a church and say, man, I want to leave feeling good. If that's our goal, if our goal is just to leave feeling good, then we're going to become performers and entertainers. If our goal as leaders is just to get people back to service the next week, our goal is off. We have to be willing to be rejected. We have to be willing 
to be called names and persecuted. But we have to know what motivates us is that we really care about the people we address and we speak to and we work with and we live with. We care about them. Otherwise, we're just going to be a club. We're going to be a subculture. Do you know what a subculture is? A subculture fits in with the culture, but it has an identifying factor. Well, we have church buildings, we have music, we have lights, we sing about Jesus, we have our t-shirts, we have all of our, our worship CDs, we have everything, we have our books and everything else. So we're a culture within a culture. So as society moves, we move with it. In all of America, let me just give you an example, okay? In all of America, in the 1940s, if you showed a man and a woman who were not married in bed on a television program, America freaked. All of America freaked out. Today, that's a PG movie. Right? So what happened? Culture moved. We moved with it. A counterculture is a culture that is ruled and governed by a higher law and it stays stable. So if the culture moves, it doesn't change. The church never accepted a homosexual lifestyle in marriage. Never even call it marriage. Until the last couple of years. We're talking about centuries. The church never encouraged people to live together. But yet our culture does it. So we got people attending churches. Oh man, I love my church. My boyfriend and I have been living together for 10 years. I'm not speaking hypothetically. It's true. Right by my house. Oh, we have a baby together, but we're not married. See, if our goal is just to get people to come back, we're not going to speak truths that are going to confront. So when are they ever going to hear the truth? How are they here? We got to get back to the Word of God and speaking it in love and not being afraid to confront the culture today in our society that is contrary to the Word of God. If we do this, We'll see the church strong again. We spend hundreds of millions, maybe even billions a year in the church in America. But yet, why do I go to nations where they turn away more people than we're in the building? Well, actually, close to. How, how come I can go to Indonesia and speak in a church that's 35,000 seat auditorium? And most Muslim nation in the world and 70,000 of the church members are converted Muslims because Jesus is appearing to them. Yet they don't spend near the money on the gospel that we do. We need leaders in the educational field, in government, in athletics, in church, in our society that will speak the truth in love so that we don't just keep heading off a cliff like we watched on the video. Did you get something out of tonight? Did you get something out of this? I want you to bow your heads. I want you to close your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I preach what you've commanded me to preach. 
Holy Spirit, thank you. If you're in here tonight and you'd say, John, I love people, but I realize my love is not real because I've not because I avoid certain truths. And I want to repent of that tonight. If that's you, I want you to raise your hand up. Say, I want, I, want, I want to change. I want to repent. And I want to change that. If you're in here tonight and you'd say, John, I speak the truth, but I fillet people when I do it. I want you to put your hands up. If you've raised your hand on either one of those and you want to pray and say, God, I want this changed in my life. I want to speak the truth in love. I want you to stand to your feet. If that's you, let's be honest. It didn't change overnight for me. I had to pray and pray and pray and allow the Word of God to speak to my heart. It may change overnight for you. I hope it does. But what I'm saying is, I want you to begin a quest to be a person of truth who is kind, who is patient, who does not parade himself or herself, who believes the best in every person, who looks for the best in every person, but will not be afraid to speak the truth. I believe God's going to answer every one of your prayers that are standing up. I believe that with all my heart because I've watched him do it in my own life. I want you to lift your hands up. Is there anyone else that says, man, I should be standing right now. Get up, just stand up right now. Quickly stand up. I just want to make sure nobody's missed. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Let's pray this prayer. Father in heaven, thank you for speaking to me tonight. I'm asking you, Forgive me for avoiding truths because I didn't want to be rejected. Forgive me for not speaking what would have saved a human being because I didn't want to be rejected. I ask you to cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. Wash me. I ask you to forgive me for speaking the truth not doing it with kindness, not doing it with humility, not doing it with gentleness, not doing it with meekness. Forgive me. I desire true compassion. The compassion of Jesus Christ. I lift my hands to you tonight and I'm asking you, fill my heart with a fresh baptism of your love, your compassion. In Jesus' name, everyone stand with me. Lift your hands and say, Father, at the beginning of this new year, I'm asking you, fill me with your love for you and for people. May I speak the truth without fear, without doubt. May I speak it bathed in your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's thank